Hey, what's going on, y'all? Jay from JS Films. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to transfer your meta human facial animation from Unreal Engine to Maya and then back to Unreal Engine 5. Now, again, as you all know, I've been looking for this since probably Unreal Engine 4 when the MetaHumans first came out. Pretty much being able to edit our facial animations in Maya since it does have the control rigs in there. So first things first, big thanks to Sean Nolan who actually created this Python script for us because you're about to see how amazing this is. So again, I think I speak for everybody who's using MetaHumans. Thank you for this Python plugin, script, whatever you want to call it. To be honest, I am shocked how this is not a thing already. So go ahead. I'll put the link in the description below of his GitHub, Sean Nolan. I pretty much live in GitHub now. So what you need to do here is just download the code, download zip, and this is going to go to my downloads folder. And in my downloads folder, I went ahead and unzipped this folder, MetaHuman Facial Transfer Main. If you want to just read through this instead of watching my video, just click on the read me. It's going to teach you how to do it. Uh, but we are going to need a script right here, a little command. So I'll keep this minimized. All right. So now that we have his Python script, we're going to do some preparations. And I honestly had to do a clean install of Quixel Bridge and Maya for this to work. All right. So... The first thing you're going to need is Maya. I am using Maya 2022 right now. As you can see right here, Autodesk Maya 2022. Additionally, you are going to need the standalone Quixel bridge. Not the Unreal Engine 5 bridge, but the standalone Quixel bridge. This is very important. All right. So in the Quixel bridge, the standalone one, I'm going to go to my MetaHumans right here. And let's just go with my MetaHuman UE5. And if I click on this MetaHuman right now, I'm going to go to the settings because we want to make sure that the plugin for Maya is installed first. So I'm going to click right here. And for the download settings, honestly, for me, since I'm only using this MetaHuman for the facial animation in Maya, I don't need crazy LODs. I just chose three, so it's a smaller file. And then in the MetaHumans, I'm going to say Unreal Asset and the Source Asset. So this is actually going to give you a Maya file. All right, so I'm going to go back right here, and let's go back to the settings, and now we're going to go with Export Settings. In the Export Settings, again, this is the standalone bridge, not the Unreal Engine 5 bridge, okay? The export target we're going to set to Maya. If you don't have the plugin installed, it's going to ask you to install that plugin. Now, this is where it gets a little bit tricky depending on where this is going to install the plugin itself. So to check to see if Quixel Bridge is installed properly, you have to go to, at least for me, Documents, Maya, and then I'm going to click on Modules. And you're going to see in here, I have two plugins installed for Maya. I have FaceGood, which is the Avatari software that I use. And we have Quixel Mod. If you don't have the modules installed in your Maya file right here, it's not going to work because you need Quixel Megascans in Maya for this to work. Because what's going to happen is we're going to link Quixel Bridge to Maya. And you're about to see that right now. So it looks like our Quixel plugin is installed in my Maya. So that's perfect. I can now just go ahead and minimize this for now. All right. So what we're going to do next is actually install the Python script that we got from Sean Nolan's GitHub. So let's go back to our folder. I'm going to copy both the metahuman.api and the facial transfer. I will copy these. And then we're going to go back to my documents, Maya 2022 scripts. And I'm going to copy and paste it here. And now we can reopen Maya. So I'll type in Maya. I have 2022. And that's going to load up. And as you can see right here, my Megascan plugin 7.1 is working. This is what I want to see in here. Megascans is installed in this version of Maya, which is really what we want. Now, we're going to go back to Bridge, Standalone Bridge. And I'm just going to click on Export. And it's going to say export to Maya. And in Maya, it's going to say, are you sure you want to do this? Yes, I do. So I'll load that up. Okay, so while Maya is loading that MetaHuman, I am in Unreal Engine 5.2 right now. Because what I'm going to do is I did a facial JS Films ROM test using my mocap helmet. I was testing it out, which by the way, 
You can buy it, put it in the description below. But what I'll do is I'm going to export this animation sequence out so we can bring it to Maya. First things first, I'm going to create a new level sequence. And I'm going to go to Content Browser and just drag and drop it here. If you don't know how to get to this part, watch my tutorials. I've made videos about this already. Pretty much how to use the new MetaHuman animator. So I have my skeletal mesh in here. He's already animating. And I'm just going to click and add him to the track. Now, what's cool about this is Sean actually did two methods. You can export the animation sequence by itself, but if that doesn't work for you, you can actually bake this animation and then export the control rig FBX to Maya. So we're going to try both ways to see which one works. So with that being said, I'm going to delete the face control rig and I'm going to go to animation and I'm just going to say ROM because this is the ROM that I have. I'm going to press control and scroll mouse out all the way out because I'm going to export all 2700 frames. If I press play right now, you're going to see that this mesh is going to move. I'm going to press zero. And what I'll do now is I'll right click, bake to control rig, face control rig. I'm going to leave everything by default and say create. Now, just wait for it. This is going to take a minute depending on your actual sequence length. So I'm just going to wait for this. So now that the facial animation is baked to the control rig, as you can see right here, we can now export that animation. And I'm going to go to Maya right here. I created a folder. And then we're going to call this control rig version. Okay. Save that. And then what I'll do is I'll do FBX 2020. This is the most recent one. And I'll just say export. All right. So that's finished exporting. And again, like I mentioned earlier, you can do it the control rig, but also you can just export the animation sequence straight out. So I'll just right click this asset actions export. And again, I'm just going to do anim sequence, right? Save, same exact settings. I'll just say export. I will close this for now because we no longer need that. All right, so we're back in Maya 2022 and let's just make sure that this rig is working. I'm gonna click on her mouth, press W and we're gonna move it around to see if it works. Yep, that works. I'm gonna control Z, just kind of reset everything. And now what we're going to do next is go to the MetaHuman facial folder again from Sean's website or GitHub. I'm going to click on the README because we're going to need this little code right here. I'm going to say control copy, minimize these. And on the bottom right corner of Maya, I'm going to click on this script editor. Make sure that we have Python enabled, copy and paste it. And then once you paste it here, just press play. And now his little cool UI is going to pop up. This is Sean's UI. We're going to select the meta human by just selecting again, anything on the control board. And that's going to set the current MetaHuman to Soshi52, which is my MetaHuman's name. Now, here is where we can import those sequences or the control rig FBX. I'm going to go ahead and import the level sequence file first. This is going to be the control rig version. So I have this folder and I'll double click this and watch what happens. It says this version, whatever of Maya is not currently supported. But this is why I said that Sean was really cool to let us upload in two different ways. So if that doesn't work for you, just go the animation sequence file method. I'm going to go to import FBX. And then what we'll do is select the animation sequence version, press open, and this is going to do its thing, calculate. Okay, so once that's done, you're going to see animation transferred in almost two minutes. I'm going to say okay. And now if I press play right here, you're going to see that our animation is actually applied to the meta human in Maya. Now you're probably asking yourself who gives up. So the benefit of doing it this way is that now you can go here in the animation layer and even finesse and control that facial animation that you have using non-destructive animation layers. Additionally, Maya, is still a popular software. So a lot of people might not be necessarily familiar with meta humans, but if you tell them like, Hey, I have a facial animation. It's already had a control board. It has a control rig. Can you tweak it for me? I've done this many times freelancing on freelancing websites. I would just send this to them and they would tweak it and then export it so that I can import it back to FBX. This is huge. All right. I know I think it is playing a little bit fast, but it's okay because what I'm going to do now is say you're done with tweaking your facial animations and adding your animation layers. I'm going to show you now how to bring this back to Unreal Engine 5. Okay. So here we are in Unreal Engine 5.4. As you all know, I've been messing around with 5.4 just to see, check it out. And I just have here a meta human. 
I know you've probably been seeing her a lot. So what we're going to do is import that facial animation that we got from Maya onto our character right here. And one of the most beautiful things about metahumans is that they all share the same facial rig and body rig, meaning I don't have to worry about, oh, we actually edited it with a different metahuman in Maya and bring it in here. It would help for you to edit the same facial animation uh, on the same metahuman in Maya than in Unreal. But for the sake of this tutorial right here, I can just import it straight out because again, they all share the same control rig. All right, so here I'm gonna create a new sequence and I'll just title that Tut Dude. And then what I'll do is I'll add her to the sequence. And that's going to create our meta control rig and face control rig. And next, what I'll do is I'll right click the face control board rig and import the control rig FBX that we got from Maya, which is right here. And the title is from Maya. Next, I'm going to click on control mapping presets and select meta human control mapping and press import. And I'm going to scroll all the way just to extend our timeline right here. And as you can see, it's about 2,700 frames. Go to selection so we can hide those control boards. And now if I press play, that facial animation that we exported from Maya now works on our MetaHuman back in Unreal Engine 5.0. Four. doesn't matter. You can use it in 5.2 as well. Uh, obviously, the, the uh, eyelashes and such are disconnected. I believe this is a current bug right now. This happens quite a bit, uh, but I'm sure they'll fix that. But that's pretty much it for this video. That is how you take a MetaHuman Animator facial animation, take it to Maya, and then bring it back to Unreal Engine for rendering. That being said, once again, thank you, Sean Nolan, for sharing this amazing script with all of us. Y'all, if you haven't done so, make sure to send him an email on LinkedIn or something just to thank him. Because honestly, again, I've been waiting for somebody to do this for such a long time, and I wasn't smart enough to do it. You should be able to do this with a LiveLink iPhone. You might not necessarily even need to do this with a MetaHuman animator. It could work with this LiveLink iPhone facial animation as well, which again, that's freaking amazing. All right, if y'all learned something new today, please do like and subscribe to this channel. I'm trying to reach 100,000 subscribers this year. Additionally, if you want to purchase my JS Films mocap helmet, I have it on Amazon and eBay. Check the link in the description below. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace out.